Good morning, everybody. How are you today? Good. My name, my name is Michael O'Keefe. I'm joined by... Julian Bavergette. And... Vincent Valentino. Okay, there we go. The, the sound is good. So, I'm thrilled to have you guys here. We're going to talk about the latest, the fourth, maybe the greatest... Monster Pool movie. Monster Pool. I love. How, how's my hair? Wait a minute. <laughs> it's good. Okay, I was practicing. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Thankfully, it, it's just it's not a visual medium. This is just audio. Oh, damn. <laughs> We're not on TV, but here we are. Uh, we got a couple of other things to talk about uh, before we get into all the latest and most exciting things going on with the Monster Pool franchise. We could say at this point. I'm waiting for the spinoffs. You know. Mm-hmm. Monster uh, Jacuzzi. Monster Jacuzzi. <laughs> we did have a scene where monsters were in a pool at one point. Oh, okay. It was the second one. Monster yeah. Shower. Monster Shower. Monster yeah. Closet. You know, oh, a Sunday evening unwind bath. Mm. Oh, I'm Mo- okay. Monster Train. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anywho, but we're going to get into that. The, uh, Vincent and Julian are going to tell you guys who they are in case you don't know. Uh, you should, though. Uh, but the funding drive is happening. This is our very first. Funding Drive episode. So, if you want to dial and donate, you go to six one three. Call six one three five two zero three nine two zero. If you are going to call after hours, uh, I guess it's after like you know five or six or something. Uh, you call six one three five two zero two five two eight, and someone in the studio will take it. The host will answer your calls. That's kind of fun, right? And we're looking for one hundred thirty five grand. And I am hoping that uh, some caller comes in right now for one hundred thirty five grand. Just get it over with, and you can donate the entire thing to Movie Mondays. We'll be responsible for the entirety of the funding drive. But my thing is, like, if you like movies, if 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 you like uh, stuff at the Mayfair, at the Bytown, or even the Cineplex, you know, do- donate to Movie Mondays mm-hmm. or Domestic and Severe. Give me the money. I want the money. Show me the money. Do mm-hmm. it. Check Redable to Vincent Valentino. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, ignore that. <laughs> Give me the money. Give me the money. So that that is my uh, strong arm tactic way of uh, doing the funding drive. And like I said, uh, I we were in the car. Mm-hmm. We were going to talk about Halloween, the new Halloween movie. Mm-hmm. So of course. we talk about Mayfair, Bytown stuff, you know, local rep, rep house stuff. But every now and then we talk about Cineplex movies before the show if it's not the theme. And um, I saw no Mayfair, Bytown movies this week. I saw none. Okay. Um, there's one called American Chaos. It did not look very good, and I skipped it out on it. Um, so here we are. Uh, I did see Halloween though, and I thought it was quite good. So here we are. It's 2018. The first one was 1978, and it's it's kind of thrrilling that this is still happening. It's the it, 11th it, it is. Halloween movie. I, I have amazing. a confession to make. I've, nev- to me. I've never seen Halloween. Any no, of them? None of them. I know. To, can Whoa. I still be on the air? Of Am course, I? my okay. friend. You're welcome. Here. You're welcome here anytime. It's Vincent Valentino. Vincent Valentino, everybody. Ottawa film legend. Oh. The Thank face you. of the Ottawa scene. That's what he said oh, in the stop. car. Oh, stop. Yep. Keep going. Keep I going. did. <laughs> no, uh, okay. So, Halloween. So, Vincent hasn't seen it. So, I'm going to talk to Vincent, mm-hmm. like okay. the audience member. So, yeah. Halloween. Give me it, the elevator pitch of I'm Halloween. I'm going to give you there the you elevator go. pitch. 1978, you know, uh, John Carpenter was k- kicking around uh, the United States of America. Uh, and he, it was his third film. Mm-hmm. He did the film Dark Star, which is very, very uh, lousy, I would say. But then he made a film that, that was quite strong, Assault on Precinct Thirteen. Ooh, which is a, a oh, the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, and that's like a very solid kind of, in his own words, like a Night of the Living Dead kind of riff. You were talking about one location mm-hmm. films, and that is certainly that. It's, it's the the majority of it. I, is I love prison. those movies. I don't yeah. know what the proper term for those are. I think it's a bottle movie, is what I heard. Okay, that happens. It's contained in one location. Yeah, I don't know if that's something. My friend made up or something, <laughs> but it's a bottle movie. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, maybe it's a real term. Maybe it isn't. Well, it's something for us to look, up, look into. But Assault is a very strong film. But it, it, it's you know it's a little rushed, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It's not 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 a perfect movie by any means. It's got a great soundtrack though. That theme song. Wow! 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 Yeah, wow, wow. it's iconic, okay. man. <laughs> Sometimes I say it on movie Mondays, but um. That's a killer. That's a pretty good movie. But Halloween's no joke. That's a serious. That's a heart attack. It's very economical, very terse, and it is all about that primal element of fear. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. uh, Michael Myers. What I like about Michael Myers is we we know he killed someone, his his sister, in the sixties. But besides that, we know nothing about him. He is just a guy with a William Shatner mask and a mm-hmm. knife, and he just butchers people for no reason at all. 
Yeah. Is it, I like the motiveless killer movies mm-hmm. done properly. Uh, there's one movie from the 80s. You see, he has some like slasher movies, but there's one that's very, very bad. Uh, you most certainly would not like. It's called Final Exam. And it's kind of like a whodunit. And then at the end, it's just like a guy comes in who, like, you, who had no scene before. He's just this angry Aboriginal guy who is killing university students for no reason. So no. that's really bad. But but this really works. I, the motivless killer thing works, and sometimes it doesn't. It, it definitely has an audience. Uh, yeah. I, I never used to watch a lot of horror, but uh, when I was a child with my father, we used to watch, um, it might sound bad, we should watch a form of snuff back in the 70s, uh, simulated, um, you know, Sex, rape, uh, death, and horror. Are you and, serious? Yeah, and that's what I grew up on. And the thing with snuff is you don't know how much of it is real. 99% of it is fake, but every once in a while... you. So I grew up on that. Um, wow. I didn't grow up to be a sociopath. Much, <laughs> <Yeah>. Not much. <laughs> but that's the type of uh, horror I was exposed to back in the day. Uh, so it's a, it's a form of slasher. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah just definitely. just a, a more extreme sexual slasher, exploitation type of movies. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it now. I'll be honest. I'll confess to everyone. I'm not a horror fan. I yeah, he's not a horror fan. I don't watch horror movies. I'm sorry. Okay. First of all, you don't have to apologize. Am You're I a unfriended? wonderful person. Tell, tell people how many you damn movies you made. How many uh, movies have you made? Well, I've done about 123 short films in the six and a half years that I've that started. That is frightening. That is amazing. <laughs> well, I have low standards. I mean... Okay. okay. <laughs> and, I, and I just finished recently finished my second feature. And I do it for fun. I'm a hobbyist. I just right. do it for the pleasure, for connecting with other human beings. Mm. That's that's the main reason. I love the process. The end result, man, not so much. I got no follow-through, as my girlfriend would say. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you do it for a noble cause. A though. noble cause. Well, I love... My, 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 my affection for this community is genuine. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's true. And okay, so we babbled along the the new Halloween. Oh yeah, new Halloween. Gonna, it's been like ten minutes uh, about talking about the new Halloween and Funny Drive. So uh, guys, just it, uh, I'll say one more thing. It's like what I was telling you. It's a fine line between being too excited that they get the right yeah. elements right in this <clears> one, and, and and or or just hating a new movie because it's a new movie. Yeah, you know, I I, I I'm a bit more on the giddy side. You know, well, this... well, it opened very strong. Yeah, like much stronger than the um, the Rob Zombie ones. I mean, the the initial appeal, the push for the box office, the weekend box office, was ridiculously strong. I yeah. I don't know. It was it was in the advertising or the the name that she was marketed back, well. It was marketed. I, yeah, it just works. I don't know. It was like, extremely strong, like ridiculously yeah. strong. J- Jason Bloom's a smart guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, very very talented producer. Uh, good gut instincts. Okay, so here we go. That, that's it. We're done with the Halloween. Yeah. So, Ju- Julian. So, mm-hmm. Vincent's done, like, every movie ever, apparently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every movie that's a short film, Vincent has done it. Yes. Mm-hmm. But what about you? Have you done any of these films? Uh, I, I've i done six short films in the last year. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I just... I, actually, seven. I just shot my seventh film uh, this weekend. Okay. And, uh, I, ju- and uh, I did a, a Monster Pool short. Right. Yeah, so uh, I've really been uh, active in the last year. It feels good, doesn't it? Yes, it feels You're very good. You're addicted to it now, right? That, yeah. Like that high? I always oh, want to oh. do, I'm always trying to jump into my next movie. Oh, yeah, wow. Me too. Thinking yeah. ahead, thinking ahead. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool, guys. So, uh, all right. So we got some uh, a lot of passion here, and uh, it's great that you guys are just out there doing it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people are, are excited to work with you guys, and mm-hmm. they're like, doing these things yeah it's great it's fun and, so, and, and, and yeah. i respect julian and because uh, we dated back in high school he <laughs> broke my heart <laughs> so i broke his face no i'm kidding uh, i respect him because i i prefer drama sorry i'm mm-hmm. hopping over the mic here i prefer prefer drama over horror and he brings a sort of dramatic element to his horror no he makes drama with horror elements i should mm-hmm. say okay and and there's mm-hmm. an emotional uh, impact to his movies and emotional truth so yeah. i really admire him as a horror filmmaker. Oh shucks. I love you, man. Don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, for for Vincent is not a horror enthusiast, uh, but that's uh, but so, so so you you do you, so what is it about horror? Uh, unpackage this for me. What yeah. is it? In, that, that's in a, horror good that you that's see a good question. That's a good question. That you're not a fan of. Um, I like to connect emotionally to a plot, to a character, and I find that a lot of mainstream American horror, horror is uh, cheap tactics and thrills and stuff like that, and really lengthy scenes that lead to nowhere. Oh, okay. 
Uh, not I enough do, character development. No, I do like some horror, some European horror. Mm, uh, okay. Speculative horror is one of my favorite. Uh, ta- ta- let's ask some uh, movies for our audience that, that are oh. good, that are good, that you do like. Well, not that good, but I, I could tell you based on my nostalgia, yeah. what I do like, which I do remember. I don't know if they're good, but I do like Brenda Palma's uh, oh. Phantom of Paradise. Mm. Okay, okay. Oh, That's man. interesting pick, yeah. I like things that are haunting on a profound level, a psychological level. Uh, what is it? Uh, what's the Panos movie that uh, just came out? Mandy, was it? Mandy's strong. Yeah, I like the Beyond a Black Rainbow. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the 80s one, right? Oh, no, he made it uh, a couple years ago. Okay, never mind. I'm yeah. thinking something else. Um, I have not seen that, but I did like Mandy quite a lot, mm-hmm. actually. Uh, I love the colors yes. and kind of the weird, so, so hippie characters. Essentially, you could say I am a horror fan, just uh-huh. not your style of horror. And I argue with my friends all the time is what we consider horror. And uh, a good friend of mine, Randy Smith, great guy. He's uh, he makes a lot of horror films, and he's really good at it. And he says, Vince, why don't you give Monster Pool to someone who actually likes horror? I'm like, shut up, Randy. I'll do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's your, your thing. You, no. you started uh, in 2015. Yeah, let's do some history. Uh, so you started up with uh, Andrew J. D. Robinson. Yes, yes. He uh, we uh, conceptualized it together. Great mm-hmm. guy. He's one of my favorite filmmakers in Ottawa because he makes speculative horror. Yeah. And I admire him as a creative power. He, he's a big genre brain. genre remarkable. hound. He yes. loves he loves the gory, likes uh, mm-hmm. old school mm-hmm. stuff. And he does the the fifteen second horror yeah. challenge, which is actually very successful. When you yeah. watch a like the, the hour of it, it's kind of fun mm-hmm. to just watch fifteen second horror movies oh, for it's an hour. Mm-hmm. It's what the viewer wants. It's perfect. You just put it in the background, oh, yeah. do your thing. Whatever, whatever your vice is, just mm-hmm. kind of kick back and enjoy. Um, yeah, he's a cool guy. I, I, I like Andrew and his his lovely girlfriend Mora. Mm-hmm. She comes to my store. We talk. Uh, we talked uh, two days ago. She's great too. Mm-hmm. So, um, all right. So you started. So you started this in 2015, and it's a little for people who don't know uh, about Monster It's it's an anthology film, so it's little segments. Mm-hmm. So uh, a local director will have his way for like five minutes. Yeah. With uh, a, with a story. And then we're on to the next one. And oh, and, yeah. and it's basically, uh, I, I said the first one, we were talking about that earlier, uh, but I have not uh, seen any of them since then. So how, help me catch up. What, what has changed since 2015? Well, what I hope to do with uh, Monster Pool is not make it so much of an anthology, but make it more of a, a festival. So oh. now we're starting to give free workshops because it's all about the community. Everything is free. Uh, we want to, I want to empower people creatively. And I think everyone deserves to have a voice and feel like a movie star for one night. So we have a lot of social events now, free workshops, everything. And at the beginning of the anthology, there's a community showcase where everyone is included. Everyone can make a two-minute horror film and be screened at the big Mayfair Theater. Well, that's very kind of you. So I want to encompass more. I want to make more with this. Yes. Yeah. Okay, and uh, the theme is technology this year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Monster Pool for technology. We try yeah. to follow a theme. Uh, you know, again, we can't really tie people's hands. So sure. So tell me about what your segment specifically uh, yeah. related to technology. So my uh, my segment in Monster Pool is called Neurotonin. Okay, and it is about a man who can't sleep and resol- resorts to uh, getting a brain implant that regulates his sleep patterns. Oh, but. You know, he gets this, and all of a sudden he starts hallucinating. Maybe he's what he's seeing is real. Maybe it's not. You leave it up to the audience. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and can, can, can you tease any other segments for us? Uh, or do we want to say that? Oh, so it, it, it's played Friday nights. Oh, no, no, Thursday. Thursday, Thursday the 25th. Uh, oh, my 6 God. 6 p.m. of the Mayfair. Thank you for correcting me. So it, Thursday. It's the greatest happening in Ottawa, yeah, and there's an after party. But enough about that. Uh, Julian's segment is wonderful. It's got a lot of substance and depth, mm. and it's profound, and like all his work is. So you will not be disappointed in the films. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. okay. So uh, Vincent Valentino is for substantive horror films. Like yeah. movies that get you the the, the wheels in your yeah. head moving yeah. and absolutely and, uh, re- appeal because it's possible to do no more. Why not do more? You know, sure. do more with it. Push yourself. Push the audience. Don't underestimate people. No, that's you that know. is a you that can is a terrify great line. people on different levels. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. All right. So, uh, what else? What else can we what say about monster? Can we say about monster? Tell pool? So, tell me what happened. Well, I, I mean, want to get more of the history. Oh, so sure. you, Andrew, you start with Andrew, mm, yeah. and then Randy Smith kind of Randy Smith, over, right? Uh, wonderful Randy Smith. Yes. We collaborated really well together. And our fourth one, I'm collaborating with uh, Jason Marshall, okay. another, another great guy. And uh, it's just about inclusion and including everyone and having a great time. 
Cool. Foremost, having a great time. How many segments are there? 21. 21, oh my God. 21 all together. Uh, it's, uh, it's not stagnant. It's not boring. It's oh. exciting. <laughs> okay. I'm getting a sense <laughs> of that. And how long is the final product? Uh, 100 minutes. Oh, wow. Jeez. That's, in my opinion, like the perfect time limit mm. for a horror movie. That is Josh's favorite length for any movie. Yeah, really. Minutes. That is his go-to. Mm-hmm. Hundred, any movie, though, not just horror movies? Any movie. Perfect length for a movie. 100 minutes. I mean, and <laughs> I disagree for any movie, but horror movies, 100 <laughs> minutes, perfect. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm not so, uh, I don't, I'm not so committed with that. I think no. It's like, well, with, with time, timelines. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, I think I, it depends. I, I, I'm with you. It's like uh, if it's Lord of the Rings, it's give me three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, exactly. Uh, you know, a crazy Sasha movie that's really visually overwhelming. Maybe 80 minutes is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah. want to be a two one. Uh, no, that's know. true. Yeah. I don't want to develop another psychological disorder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I find if you like a movie, it ends too soon all the time. That's oh, yeah, true too. Sure. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you know, like you'll check your watch, and it's like, oh, it's been an hour. Wow. Mm-hmm. That was just like ten minutes. Huh. Yeah. Then you. Yeah. That's when you know you're really you really like it, though. All right. Yeah. So, um, Vincent, so you, you you do the monster pool stuff, and you you partake in Digi Sixty as oh, well. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's like a big thing you because, do. Because because I'll be honest, I love to participate. I love to get yeah. the community involved. I love how generally excited people are crew and cast to be part of this thing that, that, that there's a promise of a screening and we're going to feel like movie stars for one night and i love that it's all worth it uh, i've done 25 digi 60s if you can believe Jeez. it 25 That's short films wow. for digi 60s so i'm ex- i'm waiting for my word which i never got so my vincent valentino participation attendance <laughs> award the coupon, <laughs> the coupon uh, <laughs> <is happening. laughs> or maybe they just want me to go away i don't know but I do well, include, we don't. No, thanks. But I but I use Digi Six as a platform to include and bring in new filmmakers, new people all the time, and get them excited about making films. So I'm kind of working for Digi Sixty. Yeah, in you're a way, doing their work. In a yeah. way, I'm doing their work. So how, how how do you stay connected to all these uh, up and coming or uh, you know uh, established Ottawa film enthusiasts who work on movies? Well, fortunately, it's it's. 2019 social media right and it's on facebook there's this little silly little group called ottawa filmmakers and right. everyone seems to connect through that oh, and okay. everything that's happening in ottawa is happening in that group it's a wonderful group cool we make friends we make enemies we start <laughs> relationships we break up it's so much drama but it's life it's a wonderful group just a little group so you're you're a a, a thread enthusiast you you hop on a thread you talk to the people and you oh, just yeah. make it happen. you got to communicate and you yeah. got you got to you got to stay relevant Mm-hmm. You know, if you because you forget a festival not, or they forget your name. That's this is true. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, people forget about you eventually. Mm-hmm. You know, eventually, you die. Yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot your name already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Well, I'm not dead yet. My name is Michael O'Keefe. I'm joined by Julian and Vincent. We're talking about Monster Pool Four on CKCU FM, and I hope you guys call. I hope you donate because we want to bring people like mm-hmm. Vincent and Julian into the mix on the on oh. the airwaves. And let people know what's going on in the Ottawa film scene. You know, because not everyone's plugged in, right? Not everyone's on this Facebook page. And we want to let people know, you know, where are the Canadian movies? Uh, people say that all the time. There's one this Thursday at the Mayfair Theater. At what time? Uh, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And there's an after party. You can give Vincent Valentino a high five. Give yeah, him a hug. Five. Give me a hug. Julian will uh, give you a back massage. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sweaty fingers. Okay. <laughs> So where's where's the after party? The Senate? Yeah, the Senate. It's yeah. three blocks down. It's a great. It's a big open space with yeah. high chairs, high tables. It's great for England. Yeah, of course. Well, I hope a lot of people come out. I hope so too. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's gonna be hot. I think it's gonna be a hot movie. So and, and uh, it's a shame that we just have it once a year, but uh, it's a great feeling. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut little pieces of red carpet and stick it under my shoes. So okay. everywhere I walk, I'm walking <laughs> on the red carpet. She should do that every. That's all gonna day. be awesome. How do you know I'm not doing it now? <laughs> I, I do I'm that. a movie star. <laughs> Yes. So, Ottawa Film. More than what, what you might think, if you think at all about it. hmm Yes. And uh, tell me about some of your other films, Julian. Yeah, so so I, it all started in the, over the last year. It started with The Silencer, which got into nine festivals and th- I got three awards. Nine, um, no. Yeah, yeah, I got into nine film festivals. Uh, then I did Sleep, which right. is uh, uh, more of a psychological horror movie. But like Vincent said, it's got a lot. It's, it's a drama. Right. Um, and then after Sleep, I, I shot a film called Catharsis, which we're still editing that film, but uh, we got the, the music on the way for it. 
Um, and then I did uh, I did The Portrait, and which is a horror film, Neurotonin, and then Silentium, which I just shot this weekend. And tell me about your collaborators, the people that you surround yourself with and work with. Yeah, so 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 I I it actually it all started with Ottawa Filmmakers, the the, the Facebook group. But okay. uh, I made a post. And then uh, I met a producer, her name is Vanessa Kammer, and she's helped me tremendously with all my films. She's got me in touch with so many people in the Ottawa filmmaking community. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it, not, none of this would have been made possible without... Uh, oh, she's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, oh, she yeah. is. She's amazing. You know, I'm really hoping uh, that people call in and give me all the money for funding drug. Give me the money. But I'm also hoping... Uh, at least some of you out there listening, go on this Ottawa Filmmakers page mm-hmm. and maybe like tell either you guys or may- maybe not even, just like link up with someone. But if they say, you know, I heard you on Movie Mondays, that'd be super cool. But, you know, whatever. Don't give me the credit. Don't do anything. Just talk to Vincent and Julian and these people in this community if you, if you, if you do so happen want to make films. Because we mm-hmm. got a little scene here in Ottawa. It's like, yeah. you know, it might, might not be as dynamic no. as, like, you know, Toronto or Montreal, but, you know, here but, you are. But I think that's why it works so much. Right. Because there's no strong industry here, so there's a genuine right. interest in being part of something. Mm-hmm. Because it's still it's still new. It's still accessible. It's brand new. It's And maybe as soon as there's an industry here, it'll be a little difficult to, right. to make movies. Who knows how it's going to work. But eventually everyone has to migrate. If they're ambitious about what they do, they yeah. have to leave Ottawa. Because it's a government city, and that's okay. Right, of course. It is. You yes. know... Uh, huh? It really just starts with uh, an idea. You have an idea for a film, maybe you're not so sure how to do it. You go on Ottawa Filmmakers, and people are there to help. You know, people are there to help make your 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 vision happen because uh, we all help each other out on the mm. community. That's what it's all about. For it's us. it's like a conclusive. Yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, okay. So, um, so what other opportunities should people work on besides your monster pools and your digi sixties? What else goes on in Ottawa Filmmakers? Oh, well, there's always short films and features and screening and events and workshops. Um, maybe I'll uh, announce now, but there's another. Oh. We're going to start another little 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 screening festival slash thing. I don't know what the proper name for it is. Sure. But it's going to be in the, uh, in the winter. It's really stagnant in Ottawa. Oh, okay. It, a lot of people are down. There's nothing happening. There used to be a lot of things happening in the winter, but no longer. So I'm thinking, how about something? Oh, oh no. Everything's been, What'd you do? Can you still hear me? Uh, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. No, oh, we're, good, I we're good. I lost my headset. Is oh. it? Is it? Is it you're oh, good. No. no, you're good. Okay. Oh, well, I can't <laughs> no. hear myself. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. If I could hear the sound of my own voice, I can't. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, so uh, I'll, just, I'll just, I'll just, Damn I'll just. It. I'm so bad at the board. I don't oh, know what to no. do. <laughs> What'd you do? What'd you do? <laughs> anyway, so we're going to do a comedy thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, so people can submit and make films based on a theme, a catch, and it's going to be in February, and it's going to be screened. And it's going to be great for the viewer because it's comedy. It's going to break for the filmmaker because it's comedy. Yeah, Just who doesn't get out like there a comedy? Fun. You know, have a laugh. Yeah. What's your favorite comedy? Oh, that's a tough <laughs> question. Okay, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll be honest one. with you. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. not a big fan of lowbrow humor, but sure. my favorite comedy is almost lowbrow. It's uh, Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. Okay, okay. How about you, Julie? What's your favorite comedy? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> okay, well, it, it actually changes depending on my mood. Yeah. But uh, super bad. Super bad? Yeah. Rec- okay. Yeah, I, I recently rewatched it. I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for the, the old school, like, 30s and 40s, like, uh, screwball. Screwball mm. genre. Little, give me a little Cary Grant. Give me the Three Stooges. Give me the, the, the Marx Brothers. I love that It's stuff. charming. Very Nothing charming. would have happened yeah. without that. Yeah. It, it, of course, it's very dated. Like, uh, you know, you can't, you can't beat that heavy anymore. But I, I love that high energy, uh, you know, zany element. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Groucho Marx, some guy went up to him and said, oh, Groucho, I'm a huge fan of yours. He's like, oh, I'll, walk, I'll bring you around on a hot day. I can use you then. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's that kind of thing. But, um, yeah. Uh, okay. So we got... Lots of stuff going on here, and I'm glad we got an urban. No, no, okay, I was going to say urban dynamic scene, and we're building to that because we're in a government town. We do what we can. The world as it is, not how we want it to be. And but maybe one day, Vince Valentino will plant the flag and make <laughs> Ottawa the new Toronto or Montreal. Oh, I don't know. I'm not that ambitious. Oh. I just do it. I just do it for myself. At the end of the day, it's got to be something I'm proud of. Because I look back at my films as a photo album. So it's these times in my life and the people I met and how I felt. Yeah. And it, it's, all, it's all self-serving, you know. And I tell people, find, find out the reason why you want to make films and be honest about it. That's really good life advice, actually. Because I think, like, as, uh, as, as, as men in particular, we just want more and more and more. Just give me all the stuff. 
give it to me. Give me the money. Mm. Uh, but uh, if you don't know why you're at the door asking for something, or if you don't know why you're there working, you know, none of this means anything. You have to have a, a vision or a want or some sort of need. It has mm. to be clear the that objectives in your head. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I would say for anything in life, like, why am I here? Why am I doing this? You know? You gotta, oh, you God, get... how long do you have? <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, oh, three minutes. <laughs> oh, wow. But, uh, you know, uh, I mean, that's my advice to anyone doing anything in any walk of life. It's the best advice. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> my, my favorite comedy is His Girl Friday with Carrie Grant's. Uh, anyways, mm -hmm. uh, who are who are some of your influences to get into movies? You say you don't like horror movies. You say you don't like lowbrow humor. What do you like, Vincent Valentino? Uh, what do I, <laughs> I like? Emo, super long, drawn out emo drama where okay. nothing happens and you feel like crap at the end. Okay, <laughs> you feel like your you, your your heart's been ripped out of your chest and you can't stop thinking about it for a week. A good feel bad. A good feel bad movie. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. And, and what draws you to the theaters, Julian? Uh, you see, I'm I'm almost opposite to Vincent. Horror movies. <laughs> I love horror movies. You love horror. I movies. just don't like slashers. You know, like why not? <sighs> I don't know. I, I respect when they're good. I respect them. I sure. just I don't know. I, it's it's a hard you know question to answer. I just don't like slashers. I love haunted house movies. Yeah, haunted house movies are really cool. Yeah, and, and like that's the, that's you know recently in my films that's my inspiration. So oh. I love horror movies, man. Yeah, okay. Um, I was actually, uh, you know, I was at TIFF doing the stuff, doing the interviews, and I was with uh, Gwendolyn Christie from Game of Thrones to the Star Wars, and we got on to this little tangent about Italian horror movies, and mm -hmm. I recommended her a slasher where the, the killer kills a woman with a Donald Duck voice <laughs> called New York Ripper. So, Gwendolyn Christie, I hope you watch that. That'd be kind of great if that happens. Yeah. But I actually, uh, I, I hear you. Like it, for me, it's like I, I, I like I like to think of myself as a generalist, I, I am a freaky generalist though, but I like I like to just think if it's good it's good, mm -hmm. you know. If it's a rom com, if it's a science fiction, if it's this, is it, if it's a Marvel movie as mainstream as it gets, or if it's a little like indie burner yeah, or something. Absolutely, what's and good I, is good, right? And, and I can I'm able to distance myself from my opinions and see that for that genre it's solid, it's good. It's just not yes. for me, and that's oh. what people need to understand. Instead of saying it's bad, it's good. It's saying it's not for me. That's absolutely true. Yeah, it's not. You're just not the audience member. That's right. If you don't like it. Or, or maybe it sucks. Maybe it doesn't have an audience. Well, yeah. In that case, there's no defending <laughs> that. <laughs> but that's enough of that. Well, I want to thank you guys so much for coming in today. Thank you for uh, having us. This is a lot of fun. Thanks. Oh, uh, yeah. Anytime. So. I want, I want to do this again. This time when I'm not sleep deprived. Let's do this. Yeah. But what time did you go to sleep at last night, Vincent? Uh, five o'clock. I was binging <laughs> Netflix. You know, yeah. Netflix. Yeah, of course. Uh. This little thing out there. <laughs> Check it out, guys. So, Ottawa Filmmakers, Netflix, little uh, Monster Pool comedy shorts coming together. I'm so glad we got a chance to uh, take a break from the TIFF coverage, talk about all the latest spaceships out there, to, to bring it back home. And I like that a lot. Next week, we got uh, a Halloween episode for you. A Halloween episode. We're talking about really stupid horror franchise movies in space. So, Jason X, Leprechaun in Space, and Hellraiser Bloodline. They're all terrible. It'll be fun. So, that does it for us. I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time. We'll see you on the flip. And I'm going to leave you with the BBC News. And then up next is the filibuster. And remember, give me the buddy. This is CKCU 93.1 FM in the nation's capital. I'm so lonely. You are listening to CKCU 93.1 FM in Ottawa.